This episode of the Yardcast was recorded at Taylor's Nursery in Raleigh, North Carolina. No matter what your landscape project calls for, Taylor's Nursery has the quality plant material and superior customer service you're looking for. Stop by their showroom on Newburn Avenue or visit them online at www.taylorsnursery.com. <laughs> The plant we're going to talk about today is called variegated liriope, liriope muscarii variegata. It's also known as variegated monkey grass. It grows in a clump. The clump gets bigger and bigger each year. It grows about 18 inches tall. Uh, it'll grow in, in sun, uh, partial shade, and a good amount of shade. The more shade there is, the less variegation there is. It can be used as a border planted about 12 to 18 inches apart like this or it can be used in a mass planting in rows to whatever the shape of your bed would be. Um, and later on, if you need more plants, you can actually go in here and you, there's little uh, sprigs in here that can be cut with a knife and divided and expand your borders and things like that. It has a, a really attractive uh, purple spike that comes out of it in the summertime. And after the purple flower, um, a uh, dark purple berry uh, follows on the spike, so it has some interest to it all year. The plant is extremely hardy, has very little pest or disease problems, um, and it's very easy to maintain. What you want to do is in the winter time, you want to, uh, like late February, early March, you want to come in and cut the plant in half with a pair of scissors before the new growth comes out. Uh, the old foliage never really grows again and can be burned in the winter and be unsightly, so by taking off the top and letting the bottom come back out again keeps the plant nice. When you go to the nursery garden center to buy variegated liriope, you'll usually buy it in a one gallon pot. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, sometimes you can also find it in uh, four inch pots which, or quart pots, which if you're going to do a mass planting and need a tremendous number of them, uh, would be a more economical way to do it. Uh, but it's usually found in one gallon pots. Mm -hmm.